Dongan Parks is a place of own fine craft ales. If you haven't met him before, it's only four weeks to go. It's the world famous double jabbed Alan Partridge. <laughs> if you haven't met him before, it's the world famous double jabbed brewmaster Dave Partridge. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Evening bro. Evening bro. And guess what? We've got a big reveal tonight. We've got Ooh. that secret beer we've been talking about in the last couple of videos. <laughs> and if you haven't seen social media already or you haven't looked at uh, some own brewing shops, there's a big reveal coming. Ooh, what's that big reveal, bro? It's uh, a new one from Mountain. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mountain's flagship range. They've been doing... Uh, They've been doing homebrew kitchen home, bro, for 50 years. 50 years? Yes. 50 years? Yeah, um, and they, re they released their, this like flagship range. They've they released this actually? flagship range. A very kind thank you to Andrew at Muntons for sending me this early so I could get it on the go, ready to review. So if you were thinking about buying this kit and wanting to know what it tastes like, we're, we're going to tell we're you. We're going to tell you an honest opinion what it's like. Um, I must start really by the packaging, bro. As a yeah. designer, I must say they've done a cracking little job on that. Um, nice little uh, sort of like recyclable box. Yeah, they are saying that that uh, they've gone big on sustainable. So yeah. they are saying that the tins, the box, just mm, are completely re recycled. There's just a couple of things in there that's not recycled. Great, but they are going on the better for the environment and all that malarkey. Yeah, and they've obviously spent a little bit of money on design as well. Got it, yeah. got it sorted. So yeah, so I want to have a little bit of a read here then. Uh, hazy Indian Pale Ale Beer Kit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it uh, tells you, uh, oh yeah, all the stuff on there, yeah. Uh, so we've got vibrant citrus and fruit aromas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. grapefruit, tropical, and stone fruit flavours. Yeah, indeed. Wow. Wowza. Uh, has it got a percentage on there, bro? 5%. Oh, has, 5%. And you'll also notice on there that these kits in there are 35 pints. Yes, it says 35 pints. So <laughs> ideal, I think, more for the corner. corner ah, kit. right, okay, yeah. I've got another one down here. Okay, dokie. Okay. So very kindly sent, sent me quite a fair. So they sent me the range yeah. of their flagship range. This is their... Hoppy Multi Citrus American Pale. Oh, yeah. And... I like the way the, these kits present. Oh, actually, yeah. Because now you can, you've got the two tins of malt extract back here. Yeah. You've got the Stenger Hot Sock. Thank you, Dickie. We put your hops in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've even got top quality yeast. We've got SO5 in this. We had SO4 in the uh, okay, don't. AZ IPA. And uh, some detailed instructions. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Let's look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice shape you've got. Nicely designed again. So, lovely, lovely. And um, also, box, I noticed with that one, it's, it's quite robust. It's quite robust. And you've had a bit of a problem lately with deliveries and splitting. Yeah, well, not with this. But not with these, these obviously. These packaged perfectly. They are saying, like I said before, before earlier, the tins are recyclable, obviously. All recyclable, so. Lovely, lovely. And there's a bit of a range on here. So, yeah. there's a, uh, a hazy IPA. Yeah. A West Coast IPA. Yeah. An American Amber Ale. Yeah. And a Milk Stout. A Milk Stout as well, yeah. I've got the Milk Stout. I've got the Milk Stout on the go in the corner. Because what could be better, excuse me, jump across the camera, what could be drinking better than drinking a creamy milk, milk Stout in the summer? Yeah. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> Again, that's what they look like in there. So, yeah. So, they are priced. Top end of the range because they are saying that the finest ingredients are in these kits. Okay. They've used the finest uh, ingredients to make the finest malt extract. Right. Obviously, we've got dry up in for dry ups. On the AZ, okay. some hops went in on day one and then Ooh. again on day 10. So hopefully, it's been nice and hoppy. Hoppy, zesty, and fruity. You're getting a bit of that. You're getting a bit of first on it, yeah. So again, let me just go. They are priced just under thirty pounds. So okay. I've seen them in some places at twenty-seven, some places at twenty-eight. Okay. So if right. you are thinking of making the purchase, and you want to know what it's like, <laughs> here we go. So this is the hazy one, isn't it? And yeah. We just talked about all your beers. This yeah. is the hazy IPA. Hazy steam fruit. And is it, it well? It is <laughs> what it says. It, it's hazy. It's hazy. <laughs> there you go. Look, you can see that on there. Ooh, let's have a let's have a gold. Oh, <laughs> hey, no, right, you almost don't need to taste it, do you? <laughs> no. You can a citron mosaic going into this, and you can almost smell the citron mosaic. But not only that, oh, gosh, we know. Um, you get oh. a well balanced smell. Yes. This isn't poor. Oh, this is this is no. a well rounded, yes. fruity smell from the citra and the mosaic together. Oh, that's, that's, 
Can I, can I taste it, Brad? Go on, let's bring oh, the taste. Oh, 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 here we go. Come on. Dear Lord. Dear Lord, my God. <laughs> oh, that is cracking. It's divine. Oh, oh, not only that, it's round, well, well, well rounded. So we've got, we've obviously got a nice citra in there. Yeah. You've got a fruity zestiness to it. Mm -hmm. You've got a nice dryness on the back of the palate. Mm -hmm. And it is, like you say, it's well rounded, it's balanced. It doesn't taste like a beer kit, let's face it. It does not taste like a beer yeah. kit. The mouthful feel is really rounded. When I say really rounded, I'm I'm up there with full grain kit. That's cracking on the door of it, isn't it? Definitely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way. There's no own brew aftertaste. There's no funny sharpness. There's no there's no nothing. There's, that is just pure and, pure magic. And, and, and obviously, in in these times, when you're missing beer festivals. To me, that's almost like a beer festival in the glass, yeah. isn't it? I mean, they've got that. You, you hanker after that sort of thing when you go to beer festival, yeah. and that is cracking. It's cracking. I mean, it's a ten out of ten without a shadow of doubt. That's a cracking beer. Well rounded, mm. well smooth, oh. zesty, fruity, just like it says oh. on the box. Passion fruit and stone fruit coming through. That is. <laughs> Well, look how much I've drunk already. I'm all the way in front of it. If the others taste as good as that, don't hesitate buying one. Oh, that's cracking kit. That's cracking kit. Lovely job, then. Definitely a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, right for me. Yeah. 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 And that's the stout, the others are as good. I'm, you know, I'm sure there will be. Um, yeah. You know, with, with the, the ingredients they've put in them and what have you. Yeah, I'm sure there will. Yeah. There will be coming to the Dog and Partridge. So if you are not subscribed and you want to find out what those beers are like when they come through, Press that. Click, Click on the subscribe down here on the YouTube, and uh, yeah, we'll soon be reviewing them. Hopefully, talking of reviews, back, bro. We're gonna leave it there. Oh, and we're gonna come back, we and did. we're gonna do Doom Bar. Oh, and we're gonna do uh, American IPA. Oh, and that low alcohol one. Oh, the low alcohol. I'm looking forward Darby. to that. We'll be back in a few days. So, time. watch do another that. Bit. Yeah, yeah. We'll watch another bit. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. To the queen. To the queen. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs>